गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट मैं सर मिली सांकला एंड टुडे अवर सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन ऑफ प्रिस्टस कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री फ्लेक्स डिजाइन ऑफ प्रिस्टस कॉन्क्रीट मेंबर वी सॉल्व द एग्जांपल ऑफ एंड जोन ओके एंड बियरिंग फ्लेट नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एग्जांपल वी रीड द गिवन डेटा प्रॉपरली डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग प्लेट एंड एंड जोन रेनफोर्समेंट फॉर फॉलोइंग बॉन्डेड पोस्ट टेंशन बीम हियर वी डिस्कस the example of post tension beam strength of concrete at transfer is 15 newton per mm square okay the strength of concrete is 15 newton per mm square that means that is our fci now prestressing force of 1055 kN is applied by single tendon this is our prestressing force and notation is pk that we already discussed in theory portion there is no eccentricity of tendon at the end okay here at end point no eccentricity is given now in first image section beyond the end zone okay and 400 total depth is 600 here the this one is reinforcement cgs level below the neutral axis and in second image section at end zone at end zone the reinforcement is given at center where neutral axis is passes okay now first here we solve the example and before solve the example we select the size of bearing plate now in, in our section of eye girder horizontal width is given 400 and overall depth of section is given 200 uh, 600 and the size of the bearing plate we select such that half of the width that means 200 and half of the depth that is 300 okay 600 by 2 is equal to 300 and 400 by 2 is equal to 200 ultimately our section of this bearing plate is in rectangle section 200 mm by 300 mm okay now one by one what is pk pk is equal to pristressing in tendon with one bearing plate that is 1055 kilonewton that is already given in data then a punching area that means this is the punching area and area of contact of bearing plate here we take area of punching area we take the area of bearing plate now abr that is the bearing area but here we take maximum transverse area of end block please take care when we take punching area we select area of bearing plate and abr we select the maximum area of our end block now what is the equation of bursting force is equal to pk divided by punching area of bearing plate pk is given in kilonewton so convert into newton okay and the punching area of bearing plate is section 200 by 300 so put the value in this equation and our answer is 17.5 newton per mm square now second we find out allowable bearing stress fbr comma allowable bearing stress and this equation is given in code that is 0.48 fci under root abr divided by punching area of bearing plate now one by one fci that is our strength of concrete at transfer 15 newton per mm square again it is given in example so put the value 50 and bearing area that is the maximum area of end block and end block is nothing but this is the size of our section okay maximum area maximum width is given 400 and maximum depth of this i section is given 600 and this one is the maximum area of our end block so here abr is equal to 400 by 600 divided by our punching area of bearing plate 200 by 300 after calculation answer is 48 newton per mm square this one is the allowable bearing stress in our end block now in theory portion again we discuss that we find out allowable bearing stress compared with our rent and limit of this allowable bearing stress to point fci fci is equal to 50 
and that is 40 newton per mm square that means this bearing stress is less than our allowable bearing stress that means it is okay if it is greater than then again we change the size of this bearing plate okay please take care if our this point f8 fci okay if this stress is uh, this limit is increase then we change the size of bearing plate okay and here the answer is point fci 40 bearing stress is less than allowable bearing stress that means here the size is okay now next we calculate the bursting force and equation of this bursting force is find out in two direction first is vertical direction and second we find out horizontal direction okay in vertical direction equation of bursting force is equal to f bst is equal to pk 0.32 minus 0.3 yp0 divided by y0 now what is yp0 that is the length of bearing plate and y0 is the length of our end block now one by one pk is equal to our pre-stressing force 1055 0.32 0 0.3 and yp0 is equal to 300 okay here we discuss about vertical section so here we take half of the depth of this 600 okay so yp yp0 is the length of our bearing plate okay and vertical plate we take according to this 600 and half of this 600 is 300 so yp0 is equal to 300 and y0 according to this is equal to 600 okay y0 is the length of and zone okay now after solving this answer is equal to 179.3 kilonewton that is our bursting force in vertical direction same way we find out horizontal direction okay but here we consider the horizontal dimension f bst is equal to pk 0.32 minus 0.3 yp0 y0 but yp0 is our horizontal distance of bearing plate and y0 is our horizontal distance of n block now here yp0 that means half of the this width 400 by 2 that we already we select in our bearing plate and y0 is equal to n block horizontal distance of n block that is 400 put this 400 and after simplifying these values our answer is 179.3 kilonewton okay vertical direction and horizontal direction both direction we get same bursting force now we find out end zone reinforcement okay and uh, equation of this end zone reinforcement ast is equal to fbst divided by 0.87 fy bursting force is equal to 179.3 this value is given in kilonewton so first of all we convert this kilonewton into newton 10 this to 3 10.87 and fi is given 250 and after solving this our answer is 82 8, uh, 824.6 mm square this is the end zone reinforcement that we provide on our post tension beam okay now provide two third of ast that means two third into 824.6 and our reinforcement is 550 mm square within point 0.1 y0 60 mm and 0.5 y0 300 mm from the end okay the range is given 0.1 y0 to 0.5 y0 okay so here we take y0 is equal to this 600 mm okay so 0.1 into 600 is equal to 60 mm and 0.5 into this 600 is equal to our 300 mm this is the distance from the end at this distance we provide this reinforcement clear now second select now we provide reinforcement at end zone so select two leg 8 mm diameter stirrups and provide this stirrups are provided at one third of ast ast area of this end zone that is already we find out 8 
124.6 and 275 mm square okay the area of the stirrups that we find that is 275 mm square okay and this is again provided within 0.5 y0 that means y0 is taken 600 300 mm and y0 is uh, we take 600 mm okay so answer is equal to 300 mm now we provide two legged 6 mm diameter stirrups also this is the end view of our bearing plate this size of bearing plate is equal to 200 mm by 300 mm and this one is the end zone reinforcement rectangle section is given 200 mm by 300 mm and 6 mm stirrups from 300 to 600 this one is the for main reinforcement and here 8 mm stirrups to 60 to 300 okay first case here we discuss for first case 60 to 300 and this one is for 6 mm stirrups we provide okay here end zone reinforcement is complete now in next session we start with our new topic that is composite section just now we stop here